Pituitary gland disorders, symptoms and treatment. Pituitary gland disorders occur when the pituitary gland produces too little or too much of certain hormones. Some examples are Cushing's disease, empty cellar syndrome and acromegaly. Pituitary gland disorders can affect bodily functions such as growth and development, sexual function and adrenal function. This video examines pituitary gland disorders, symptoms and treatments. What is a pituitary gland disorder? The pituitary gland is a small P-shaped gland that sits at the base of the brain. A pituitary gland disorder occurs when the pituitary gland makes too much or too little of certain hormones. The pituitary gland manages multiple hormones in the body. This allows the typical function of other glands and help regulate growth, metabolism, stress response, sex organ function. Cushing's disease Cushing's disease, sometimes called Cushing's syndrome, occurs due to the pituitary gland stimulating the adrenal gland to produce too much cortisol over time. Cortisol is a hormone that the body uses to respond to stress. Cushing's disease typically affects adults ages 30 to 50 years old, though it can occur in children. It is more common in females. Symptoms of Cushing's disease include unexplained weight gain, thin arms and legs, round face, increased fat at the base of the neck and between the shoulders, easy bruising, muscle weakness, wide purple stretch marks across the abdomen, hips, breasts and underarms, long term use of high doses glucocorticoids may cause Cushing's disease. Certain tumors may also cause excess cortisol production. Treatment depends on the cause of the elevated cortisol level. It may include a doctor reducing a person's glucocorticoid doses or surgical tumor removal. Empty cellar syndrome. The cellar turchica is a bony structure surrounding the pituitary gland to protect it. Empty cellar syndrome occurs due to an enlarged cellar turchica. Symptoms may include erectile dysfunction, decreased sexual desire, irregular menstruation. Primary empty cellar syndrome has no known cause and typically occurs more often in females who have obesity and high blood pressure. Secondary empty cellar syndrome may occur due to injury, genetic changes, radiation therapy, surgery. If a person experiences symptoms, doctors may prescribe hormone replacement therapy to alleviate them. Acromegaly Acromegaly is a rare condition that occurs due to the pituitary gland producing excess growth hormone. Almost all cases are due to benign or non-cancerous pituitary tumors. Growth hormone manages how the body grows. Too much growth hormone can cause abnormal growth in adults. Symptoms of acromegaly include enlarged nose, ears, lips and tongue. Enlarged hands and feet, bones become larger, which may cause the brow and jaw to protrude and gaps to form between teeth, thick and oily skin, increased sweating and skin odor, deepening of voice, skin tags, which may also become larger or darker. Without treatment, acromegaly may cause complications. However, in most cases, it is a treatable disorder. Treatment may include surgery or radiation therapy to remove the tumor or medication to stop the effects of the growth hormones. Diabetes insipidus 
Diabetes insipidus is a rare condition that causes excess urine production. It occurs due to the pituitary gland not producing enough vasopressin or antidiuretic hormone or ADH which helps maintain the correct amount of water in the body. Symptoms of diabetes insipidus include needing to urinate frequently during the day and night, passing large quantities of light colored urine, feeling excessive thirst and drinking lots of fluids. Without management, diabetes insipidus may lead to dehydration. Treatment options may include medications to stimulate the effects of vasopressin. Hypopituitarism Hypopituitarism is a rare disorder that occurs when the pituitary gland does not produce enough of certain hormones. Causes of hypopituitarism include pituitary tumor, radiation therapy or surgery affecting, affecting the pituitary gland, bleeding of a pituitary tumor, head injury, infections such as tuberculosis or meningitis, inflammation of the pituitary gland, severe blood loss during childbirth, conditions that may affect the pituitary gland such as histiocytosis, lymphoma or hemo hemochromatosis. Certain conditions present from birth. Hypopituitarism may happen suddenly after an event such, an, such as surgery or injury or develop slowly over many months or years. Symptoms of hypopituitarism include gastrointestinal issues such as stomach pain, constipation, loss of appetite or nausea and vomiting, fatigue and weakness, excessive thirst and frequent urination, anemia, headache, dizziness, increased sensitivity to cold, unexplained weight loss or gain, muscle aches, loss of armpit, pubic or facial hair, reduced sex drive, fertility challenges, erectile dysfunction, irregular periods or no periods, breastfeeding difficulties, developmental problems in children, Treatment depends on the underlying cause of hypopituitarism and may include hormone replacement therapy, surgery or radiation therapy to remove a pituitary tumor. Pituitary tumors Pituitary tumors occur when cells grow abnormally in the pituitary gland. They can cause pituitary gland disorders such as acromegaly and hypopituitarism. Pituitary tumors are typically benign. They tend to grow slowly and do not spread to other areas of the body. Pituitary tumors causes the pituitary gland to produce abnormal levels of hormones which can affect multiple functions in the body. Symptoms may depend on the particular hormones affected. However, they may include headache, vision problems, nausea and vomiting. Treatment options may include surgery, radiation therapy or drug therapy to remove or destroy the tumor.